In today's demonstration, we will explain this injection braking of a three-phase AC induction motor. This injection braking is a technique uh, for, using, uh, for slowing down the motor or braking an induction motor by injecting direct current into the stator windings of the motor. This injection braking has many applications in various industries and systems uh, where rapid braking or slow controlled stopping is required. Uh, trains and wests, conveyor systems, machine tools like lathe, uh, drill machines, uh, and all the other equipments that needs precise stopping of rotating components uh, and enhancing uh, operational safety and efficiency, DC braking, injection braking is required. So let's start the demonstration. Here, just for the demonstration purpose, we have used a battery as a DC source, but in practical applications, DC injection braking modules or VFDs are used for DC injection braking. When power is disconnected from a motor, the rotor spins freely until friction slows it to a stop. This is known as coasting. Coasting is the natural deceleration of a motor. Large rotors and loads with a high moment of inertia may take a significant amount of time to stop through internal friction alone. This is a 5.5 kW three-phase induction motor and here is a 12 volt battery. Here are the three wires coming from the motor. Now let us just take two of the three wires. Let us move the rotor freely with hands. Now if we connect the two wires to the two poles of the battery, the rotor breaks immediately. While it is connected to the battery, we cannot move the rotor easily with our hands as before. Even if we use our two hands, it is very hard to move. As long as the DC voltage is applied to the windings, the rotor holds its position and resists any attempt to spin it. The DC voltage applied to the stator windings of the motor creates stationary magnetic field which applies static torque to the rotor. This static magnetic field slows and finally holds the motor completely. <laughs> 